So we are in New Year now, 2023. And uh, if you flash back, I think every year, some of us, maybe most of us who are uh, resolution conscious, we make certain resolutions, right? Uh, be it personal life or maybe professional enhancement, we do, we do make that. And most of us, what actually happens is still till uh, March, till 31st March from January, it's like a March past, yeah. But on 1st April, sometimes you know, uh, it is April full because when we compare where we began from and where we are now in the end of March, maybe there is just, just incremental change or maybe no change, right? And we have so many excuses to, uh, to give that this was not right, this was not in our favor, so and so forth, right? We are always ready with excuses. Maybe uh, to give excuse is one of our habits, you know. Uh, so what happens actually is we, we are mostly head oriented and then maybe we execute up to a certain extent. That is basically body, body oriented. If I may uh, correlate this with uh, uh, four different multiple intelligences, categories basically, the IQ, the physical fitness, the PQ, the emotional intelligence, EQ, and the spiritual intelligence, SQ. So most of us, we are head oriented. Yeah, that's a lot of logic, rational, right? Uh, so IQ and then PQ, maybe up to certain extent when it comes to uh, execution. But um, when we deeply introspect, very honestly introspect, then we actually don't work uh, work enough on emotional intelligence and spiritual intelligence, which is why we are not able to connect the uh, dots and align completely uh, so that we, we will be able to achieve our resolutions, our goals or maybe purpose in life. So many times we fail and we give up, most of us we give up, right? So uh, uh, when it comes to IQ, how to enhance IQ, definitely you need to um, do that which can enable you to uh, you know, think more, um, construct your thoughts, that's very important, creative abilities, yes, that's what you know IQ is. And uh, uh, IQ is not limited. IQ is not limited to some fast mathematical calculation or cracking certain equations of science or something like. That. No, or maybe working out very fast on ROI when it comes to customer interface. No, it's not like that. IQ is basically utilizing your brain um, to its fullest possible potential and um, leading a life which is filled with a lot of happiness, harmony, and great health. So uh, IQ is basically understanding things as they are. And that is possible only when you have absolute clarity when it comes to your emotions and your uh, spiritual intelligence. So it is very much linked to it. And definitely your body when it comes to physical intelligence, that what you are eating right and are you uh, doing certain you know, physical exercises. So um, uh, uh, how to enhance IQ? Be more on creative side, be more on constructive thoughts, yeah? that you always have a choice. Uh, how to enhance your emotional intelligence is basically Empathize, empathize people not at thinking level, but not at um, uh, not at just thinking level, but feeling level and doing level. Do something for them. That's empathize. Once you empathize, once you replace yourself in their shoes, yeah, you know, look at the things from their perspectives, then uh, you can definitely get into um, excellent emotional intelligence. And third is spiritual intelligence. How to do that? Uh, there are many ways, maybe meditations, you know, certain therapies, but I believe and I, I've been practicing for the last so many uh, years, three decades now, is basically an ability to snap your mind, being aware that you are aware, being in the present moment. Yeah. So that is self-awareness, you're not going to get into the details, that's how you get into the spiritual intelligence, that's, you know, the being, being present is the door, uh, being, being present is the master key. When it comes to physical intelligence, def definitely it's not just you know um, uh, dieting. Uh, not uh, it's not just about dieting or weight loss or starving yourself, but eating the balanced diet and working out regularly, consistently. Go slow. Respect your age. Respect your agenda. Respect your lifestyle. Go slow. Uh, be slow. Be steady. Be stable. But be soulful. I mean, whatever you are doing, uh, be there. Be committed to yourself. Yeah, it could be yoga, it could be strength training, it could be aerobics, it could be I mean, cardio, it could be circuit training, whatever it is, be consistent, you know. Uh, you know, alternate days in a week, maybe two, three days in a week, take enough rest, have sound sleep, have enough sunshine, uh, connect to nature, yeah. So have complete overall healthy lifestyle. Be aware that you are not eating junk food or too much of, you know, fried stuff. Uh, getting in all, all, all kinds of toxicity, not just but you know, but throughout five senses, what you are watching, what you are looking at, 
because what you are looking at, it's looking at you. Yeah. So beware what you are watching. You are, are you watching a web series which is full of, full of violence, you know, I hate all those things because that those thoughts get into you and that definitely affect your uh, biochemistry, isn't it? So uh, be aware of what you are looking at, what you are listening to, apply all the five senses, not just the taste and not just the food. So get over all your uh, weaknesses, work, make your SWOT analysis, now try to uh, deeply and honestly introspect on your weaknesses, work on that and uh, convert your strengths into super strengths. Wish you all very happy, uh, very healthy, very harmonious, very holistic 2023. Thank you. Bye-bye.